energetic. So today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, is going to be my August favorites video, which is really bittersweet because I love fall time, but I hate school. So I go back in I think four or five days, and I'm really not looking forward to it. I really just don't want to do it, but you know, only two more years. I can do it, guys. I can do it. I don't really have that many favorites this month. I get ya. I get ya. I guess I was just not really experimenting that much with makeup and stuff, but I have a couple non-beauty favorites, so I figured that I would still do this video for you guys because I could never skip one of these. They're like my favorite thing ever to film, so without further ado, let's just get started. Sorry if my white sweater is like messing up the lighting. I, I just really like it and I want to wear it every single day, so I guess this is one of my favorites this month. I don't, I don't know. It's from PacSun, by the way. Okay, enough with the babbling, let's get started. So my first favorite this month, I didn't really think that I would enjoy this that much because it was on the cheaper side and normally I don't really like lipsticks that are cheap because they always dry out my lips, but it is the NYC lipstick in Flirty. Ooh, and I really enjoy this actually because I've never had a color like it before. It has this pinky purple-y shine to it. I'm sure I'll have a close-up of it on the side, but it's just, like I said, very different from anything that I've ever had before. And a great thing about this lipstick that I always want to say lip gloss. One of the great things about this lipstick is that it doesn't dry out my lips like I said I thought it would, but it's actually very moisturizing, which is definitely a plus. And it stays on almost all day. I have it on my lips right now, but it's very subdued, kind of. This lipstick is definitely very buildable. You can either have it very opaque or very sheer. It really just depends on what you're going for or where you're going or what you want. So that's why I really like it because it's very versatile. Another one of my favorites this month is a moisturizer and normally I don't go for moisturizers, any type of new moisturizer because I just love my Clinique Dramatically Different one, but I decided that I would try out a new one and because everyone has been raving about this so I decided I would try it out for myself and it is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Moisturizer and I have a little sample size of it. It's not this big normally but I got a sample size with my oil absorbing sheets and I've been using this almost every day. I definitely need to go repurchase the full size one because this is almost, almost gone. I've been using it like I said every single day and I'm surprised that it's lasted me this long but I love this. It smells amazing. You guys need to go at least go to Target and smell it because I'm sure you will fall in love just as I did. Oh, it smells so good. But it also works. I can tell right after I put it on and it soaks into my skin very fast. I can also tell that my skin is very, very smooth. It'll definitely be perfect for using before school or something like that just so that way my makeup stays on all day and my skin is nice and soft. My next favorite is from Lush and it is the Mint Juleps Lip Scrub. Um, this has been in one of my favorites videos way, way back, but I have just finally rediscovered it again and I've been using it a lot lately. And if you don't know what these lip scrubs are, they're basically just an exfoliant for your lips. The great thing about these is that they're actually edible, so after you exfoliate your lips you can just eat it. So that's really easy and I have been really enjoying it. I really want to try and get the bubblegum one because I've been hearing a lot about that lately. So let me know what your favorite, if you have one of these, what your favorite flavor is. Mine is in mint juleps. It's kind of like a mint chocolate chip ice cream or something. Also let me know in the comments what your favorite product is from Lush because I really want to go and get some new things from Lush because that's one of my favorite places to go. So comment down below what your go-to thing to get from there is. My next favorite is a nail polish and it is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Polish in Berry Juicy. I have been wearing it on my nails almost the entire month. I literally just took it off yesterday but um, yeah I have a darker blue on right now but I've been really into kind of like the paley pastel-y colors on my nails lately. Obviously not right now but um, lately I have been into that and I really really enjoyed this color. I think that it's such a pretty pink and it looks really nice with my skin tone and I'm sure it would look good with anyone's skin tone really. It's just like a ver very versatile color and the great thing about this is that it's 
Um, it only takes about a coat or a coat and a half to a coat and a half. It only takes like one or two coats to get it to be the color that is in the bottle. So it's very true to the color that it looks like it is. Personally, one thing I hate is when you go to paint your nails and then you get through the first coat and it looks absolutely nothing like what's in the bottle. But luckily that wasn't the case with this one. So my last actual beauty favorite of the month is the Crest 3D White Strips. And these are in the Intensive Professional Effects kind because they have a lot of different kinds of them but these were I want to say $50 but you get a rebate code and you can get and you can get sent back $10 if you do that so yeah just letting you guys know but um, I've been really enjoying these I think that my teeth did get whiter I always have had really yellow teeth even though I brush my teeth every single day my teeth just never really were true to a nice white color and I really wanted to get my teeth vamped up especially for back to school so I only have one of these left but basically you got seven of them it was like it said on the thing that you would use it for seven days in a row but my teeth were just a little bit too sensitive to do that so I've been using them every three or four days and I've definitely noticed a difference my mom has noticed a difference too which is great you always know that something's actually working if someone else notices it so yeah, that was nice, and I definitely would recommend these if you want to get your teeth a little bit whiter. They came in a box, but I lost the box. Typical me, but, um, yeah. <laughs> My next favorite of the month is actually a book favorite, and I never, ever, ever thought that I would ever put a book ever ever in my favorites video but this book takes the cake. It is Divergent by Veronica Roth. It is absolutely amazing. I chose this book for one of my summer reading books and I'm so happy that I did. This book just sucks you in. I read it all in one day so that's when you know it's really good because normally I read like 10 pages and then I'm like I'm hungry and then I'll go eat for an hour and then never want to read again I'll just rather be on my computer but this book sucked me in and I could not put it down and I definitely recommend it to all of you guys. It's kind of like the Hunger Games a little bit but I may or may not like it a little bit better than the Hunger Games and that's really surprising because that was my favorite book for so long but yeah I really like this. <laughs> my foot fell asleep. As for a fashion favorite of the month they have been these jeans from PacSun. If you watched my most recent lookbook, you've probably already seen them, but I just love them so much. They're by the brand Bullhead, but they're from PacSun, and they're just an acid wash, high-rise denim jean, and they're so soft. They're actually a jegging, but same thing, and I love them. They're really tight at the ankles, so I just cannot wait to wear the crap out of these in the fall time and into the winter. I know I'm going to get such good use out of them, and I just love them so much. I've already been wearing them a ton, so sorry if you just heard my phone go off. Whoever texted me, I hate you. So my last actual physical favorite of the month has been a bag, and I've been using this every single day. If you guys saw my last video, again, you've probably already seen this, but it's like my little baby. I took almost all of my crap out of it so that way I could show it to you guys, but it's just this nice tan, um, almost tanny, peachy colored. It's not picking up on camera what it actually looks like in real life, but it has all these studs on the front and then on the bottoms and on the sides. It's so adorable. And then it has a long strap and I love how you can adjust it to different lengths. And the best part about it is the inside is like this cheetah print. And I really, really like this. I cannot wait to use this bag in the um, school year. I'm definitely going to be using this a lot. And I think it's a great size because even though it is one of the shoulder bags it's not too small where you can't fit anything but your phone in it and it's not too big where it's taking up so much space and you're hitting people with it. I'll try and get this bag linked down below as long as I can find it for you guys as well as the jeans and anything else that I have mentioned maybe. I don't know. I'll definitely have the jeans in the bag listed down below. Now I'm just going to go through a couple of my song favorites of the month. I'm just going to go through like what I've been listening to the most this month. I've been really liking Crazy Beautiful by Andy Grammer. It was on the Hollister playlist, I want to say. And my sister works for Hollister, so we listen to a lot of those songs. And I've been really liking that one. And then I've also been loving Warrior by Demi Lovato. That's a really, really good song. And let's see here. I've been liking Brave by Sarah Bareilles. Um, and my last favorite song of the month has been Let Her Go by... 
Passenger. I think that's what it's called. I really, really like that song. I've been listening to it so much on my laptop. So those are all of my song favorites of the month. As for person favorite of the month, I don't really have that many, but my favorite, like, person that I've been watching every single video of hers literally non-stop has been Close Encounters or Jen. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of her because she's very popular on YouTube, but just in case you haven't, I thought I would mention her just because her videos, literally, I have not stopped watching them. Whenever I see a video of hers pop up in my subscription box, I watch it right away before any other video that's new in there, and I literally, ugh, I just want to be her. She is so perfect, and her style is flawless. Her editing is flawless. Just everything about her is flawless. I'll make sure to link her down below in case you've never heard of her before, but like I said, I'm sure a ton of you guys have. So now, lastly, my favorite app of the month has been the app Rona. I'll have, um... What it's, I'll have the spelling of it down below just in case you didn't catch that, but it's called Rona. It's this really cool app where you can add different quotes or doodles to your pictures. A lot of you guys ask how I do that in a lot of my pictures, and I use that app, and it also has great effects on it, so I would definitely recommend you guys go check it out. It does cost money, but it's totally worth it. Like, that's the only app I have been using this whole entire month. I love it so much. And those are like, that's like one of my most requested questions is how I edit my Instagram pictures. So for the past month, I have basically been using that app alone. Alright guys, so that is the end of my favorites video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below what your favorites are for the month or any video requests that you might have. I'm actually on my way to go see the One Direction movie pretty soon. We already got our tickets just to make sure that we have seats. And we're going to go really early so that way... We have good seats, and I'm so excited to go see it. If you guys have already seen it down below, let me know what you think. If you, That didn't even make any sense. If you guys have already seen it, comment down below what you thought of it. I'm really excited. I heard that it gets really emotional, and I'm hoping that we sit next to people that are really, like, dedicated fans as well, because that's always fun. Yeah, I'm really excited. I really hope that they have cardboard cutouts there, so that way I can take a picture with one. And that's basically, that's my Friday night for you. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a picture with a cardboard cutout of Harry Styles. Thank you guys so much for 25,000 subscribers. I seriously cannot believe that. That is insane. That is, ugh, I'm speechless because that's out of my wildest dreams that I would ever get that many people watching me and supporting me and being my best friends. So thank you guys so much. I'm so grateful for all of you. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. This is a story that I've never told I gotta get this off my chest to let it go I need to take back the light inside you stole You're a criminal And you steal like you're a pro